All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. And please invite your friends and share a list in Facebook, Twitter, wherever you have a social media account. Uh, today we continue our topic, which is about Islam. But I want to remind people that I made a video uh, just about two hours ago, and the topic is about Israel. So if you don't mind, for those who did not watch it after we finish today, you can go and watch it. And if you don't mind, you can download it right away and share it with your friends, uh, whatever you wish. Uh, you know. The media today they try to present to us the terrorist as if they are the rabbit who is cute and there is many naive people in the west who they have no idea what's going on we have a media of more than 60 countries with a huge budget to sponsor their agenda and those 60 countries contain some of the most rich countries in the world in the other hand we have the media in Europe which is already bought by the rich men of Arabia not only your media is bought by them your stadium your uh, sport team your theater, everything is in sale in Europe. I will not be surprised if tomorrow you go to the library and they will say to you, we changed the books inside because now it's owned by the Prince of Qatar. In the other hand, we have a small, tiny country. It's called Israel. And that country have to defend itself in a front not only the billions of Muslims, but all the stupid Western who they have a big mouth attacking this tiny country which is trying to survive. The video I made before, it was about an article written here by an idiot. His name is Robert uh, McKay, whatever his name. Israel prepared to kill more unarmed protesters in Gaza now the name alone the title alone is telling you that this guy is trying to direct you not to share a news he is trying to to make you believe that the Israeli are a bunch of killers they are criminals they are filthy they are the scam of this earth and we have to get rid of them when the fact is upside down. Those are unarmed 50,000 Palestinian by this guy. Who is the one who decide that they are unarmed? When 90% of the attack of the, what is called Palestinians is happened by knives. Go right now and check how many people killed by Muslims in Israel by knives if we go and we check little bit of check this is list of people who get killed by knives attack Should you read all the names? Should we? All those names are killed by an armed civilian. The names and the date and the crime, everything is documented. All of this happened by a civilian unarmed poor terrorist I mean how disgusting this filthy media is so it's okay to attack Israeli 
and slaughter them and stab them and kidnap them and, and, and rape their daughters and do whatever we want. But if you try to defend yourself, you are killing an armed civilian. As long as the Palestinians are unarmed, so those missiles and those bombs and those tanks, they have them in Gaza. They belong to who? As long as they are unarmed, how they were able to kill all those people? Maybe they killed the Israeli by giving them falafel? I mean, it's the, the list is endless. If I keep going, Should we count the names of the victims of the peaceful ones you call them Palestinian? I mean, that's... If those are the peaceful, so who is the one who is not peaceful? Do you want me to slow down, read the name one, one for you, bring you their pictures? Should we go and visit their graves? Israel is a small nation so when you kill one Israeli it's like you killed a million a million a million Muslim this nation cannot afford to lose citizen all those names get killed by the peaceful amazing peaceful Muslims in what it's called Palestine and not forget to mention that those are not even Palestinian there is no no such thing such a thing is called Palestinian today exist Palestine is a territory whoever lived there is called Palestinian it is not a kingdom it is not even a group of people it is whoever lived there and those people they have nothing to do with that land even the Muslim books admit and they agree that the first time the Arab entered into that land, it was during the time of Omar al-Khattab when he attacked Jerusalem and he forced what it's called the Pact of Omar on the Christians at that time. Before that date, not a single person speak Arabic. Not a single man. And now they claim that this is an Arabian you know, land. And not only that, they claim because they're a prophet, he saw a dream going to Jerusalem that the Holy Mosque, what is called the Holy Mosque, which is the Holy Temple for the Jews, is their Holy Mosque. So because a guy, he saw a dream, the Jews, they have to give up Jerusalem. The media is disgusting. And the Western, they are helping the criminals to do their crimes and they are supporting them you see those western who sponsor those terrorists they are part in the crimes against the humanity and you if you don't stand and defend the truth i'm not asking you to defend israel by the way i don't want people to defend israel i want you to defend the truth if israel is wrong okay go against israel We as a Christians, we should be truthful and we should defend the truth. And all of us, we knew that this is the land of Israel. And the whole idea of this war is how to strip the Jews from their land. You see, Erdogan, he took half of Syria already. And not a single Muslim, he is upset. Why? Because he's a Muslim. As long as you are a Muslim, it's okay. Saddam Hussein used chemical weapon. He kills tens of thousands of Kurdish. Not a single Muslim was upset. Why? Because he's a Muslim. He have a license to kill. But the Jews, they cannot do that. The Jews even not allowed to defend themselves. So we have a duty to defend the truth. And whoever has the truth, 
we should take a side with him even the Quran says it clearly that this land is the land of the Jews as you read in chapter 5 verse number 21 my friend we have a different topic now what Ibn Taymiyyah and who cares for Ibn Taymiyyah Ibn Taymiyyah is just a potato just one more potato focus in the head of the snake not Ibn Taymiyyah why why people don't take a stand and why people don't say the truth And please, guys, if you don't have something important, don't text me in Skype because the the point point is going to appear in the sound system when we broadcast. So if you have a question, post it in the chat. Skype only to call me if there is something you want to say. And you can text me only if there is something important. Now, today, we started talking about Israel, but the topic is not really Israel. I want to remind you to go and watch the video which I made. And if you don't mind, if you really care to support the truth, download that video and share it with your friends or share the link. Today our topic is Islam before Muhammad and after Muhammad. Islam before Muhammad and after Muhammad. My challenge to the Muslims to tell me what is the difference between the pagan Arab who they used to worship Allah before Muhammad and the pagan Muslims after Muhammad? If you are a Muslim and you are listening, please feel free and give us a call. Listen carefully to the question. What is the difference between Arab before Islam and Arab after Islam Arab before Islam they used to kiss the black stone they go and circle around the Kaaba they use to do what everything in Islam today is exist as Safa Al Marwa shaving the head uh, uh, wearing the, the sheet all those things is coming from before Islam from the pagan Arab before Islam So what the difference between the pagan Arab and Islam then? if Islam brought no change The lies of Islam is that they claim that they are coming from the same God, but yet they have a Kaaba they claim they are coming from the same God, but yet they kiss stones. They claim they are not pagans, but all their worship and their religion is based on rocks, black stone, the Yemeni corner, uh, kissing the stones of the Kaaba, licking the stone of the Kaaba. Everything in Islam is based on stones. The Muslims is the only religion in the world who believe that God have a house which is holy and it is the only house of God. It's not like a metaphorical thing, you know? Like I can say this church is the house of God, but I'm not meaning really literally it is the house of God because don't live there. The Muslims believe that this is the house of God and this is what it's called the sacred house of God. Which means other houses, mosques, etc., they are not really house of God. Mecca and the Kaaba specifically is the house of God. That because they are pagan. And if there is any Muslim here who would like to tell me that this is not true, feel free. Feel free and prove me wrong. Yesterday we showed you the hadith where Muhammad said that the one who touch and hold the black stones and the Yemeni corner, Allah forgive his sin. And we asked the question, why, why 
if I hold the stones my sin will be forgiven why if your Muslims are not pagan what is the power in that stone Muhammad he said many things about the black stones let us see All right. The prophet he used to do jogging around the black stone from corner to corner three times. What does that mean? Any Muslim? This is what the pagan Arab used to do before Islam. The black stone is from paradise. What does that mean? That what the pagan believe that this is a stone coming from the space, and as long it's coming from the space, we worship the stone. Yahya related to me from Malik, from etc. That Omar used to hasten from the black stone round to the black stone three times and then would walk for a circuit normally what does that mean what does that mean all of this is a pagan rituals what does this have to do with god what that have to do with god how kissing a black stone is going to make you close to God? Any Muslim can tell me? Who is a Muslim can explain to us? All those stories about the black stone and the stones of the Kaaba, which became holy, is nothing but a proof that Islam is a pagan religion and not only it's a pagan religion it's fixed with fictions as you see in the front of you here Muhammad saying that the black stone descended from paradise and it was more white than milk but it was blackened by the sin of the children of Adam if we try to understand what does that mean exactly and if you are a person who have knowledge about Islam uh, you will know that it's not really what he said there as sin is not exactly what it is or what is the reason for the black stone to make it uh, a black it is sin but sin which coming from the vagina and penis Arab women before Islam and I can show you this by the way from Islamic interpretation books from the Quran interpretation, not even from like, uh, this is not my own thought. According to Islamic interpretations, scholars, women before Islam, they used to go to the Kaaba when they have their period. Specifically, women who have a problem with getting breath knit. And they put their hands over their vagina when they have their period. And then they place their hands, which is full of blood from their vagina, on the black stone. And then after that, the men, they come and they wrap their penis inside the black stone. Hoping that the black stone will make that penis fertilize that vagina. And this is where Muhammad saying that the black stone used to be white like milk but the sin of the children of adam turned it to be black this is this is why the black stone looked like a vagina don't you look go on go on and go and check it out did you ask yourself what is the shape of the of the black stone 
it is a shape of a vagina and by the way the black stone there is gone the really black stone is not exist what Muslims they have right now is I think eight pieces of the black stone each small pieces they glue it together and trying to make the old shape of the black stone otherwise the black stone is gone if you remember when Hassan al qurmuti he attacked the Kaaba and he destroyed the Kaaba and he pissed on the stone and he was challenging Allah saying hey Allah where is your flying birds because the Quran speak in the chapter of the elephant that Allah he sent f-16 birds and they throw rocks at an army of a Christian army coming from Ethiopia to destroy the Kaaba so this guy al qurmuti he wanted to prove to the idiot Muslims that there is no such a thing in Islam is a joke he went to the Kaaba and by the way he's a Muslim he is from a Muslim family so al qurmuti he went to the Kaaba he destroyed the Kaaba with his army he took the black stone he make it a poop stone for more than 21 years according to Muslims and I believe it's a lot more and then the Muslims in order to get the black stone they have to pay him money they negotiate with al hakim bi amrullah al fatimi or this is say that the, the the ruler of egypt and uh, 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 to make him accept please can you make him accept to pay him some money and he can send back the black stone and even the muslims they say that the black stone when it came back it was light which means it's not heavy as before why because I believe the original black stone is, is is gone is destroyed So this guy he sent them a few pieces and this is what we have right now in the Kaaba glued together Trying to resemble the old black stone. I Made a video actually I posted my account in minds You can go and see it about the secrets of the black stone and you will see there how the Muslims are gluing every few weeks every few weeks the Kaaba is going to be closed and they bring a guy who is his specialty to glue the stones together all right now when somebody says to me that the black stone used to be white and became black because of the sin of mankind isn't him saying to me that this is a living stone Is it that mean that the stone is affected by sin? Any Muslim can explain to us how this happened? How a stone can be affected by sin? What does that mean? And why sin made the black stone black? Why not blue? The reason for that, Muhammad, he believed that the color of black is because of sin. Sin make you black. So Muhammad believed, because he's racist, that if you are a black person, that because you are bad, you are a sinner. So look, the good stone it's a holy stone but when it was without sin it was whiter than milk but then the black color come from the sin this is not the original color of the stone it's your sin who made the stone black This is nothing but the belief of the white Arab pagan and Muhammad, he adopt their racism. They are racist. And they consider the black people are not the same kind as us Arab. And Muhammad, he adopt that. Even the shaitan is a black. Even the one who will try to destroy the Kaaba is a black. Anything, 
anything is bad for Muhammad is black even the Quran confirm that in the judgment day Allah will make all Muslims white and all none Muslims black even in the hadith it says that Allah when he created the white people he tapped on the right shoulder of Adam and he created the seeds of the white people from the right shoulder of Adam and he tapped in the left shoulder of Adam and the black people were created from there now for those who do not know the the left and the right is religious meaning is not just about direction left hand is the hand of sin right hand is the right is the hand of the righteousness so according to Muhammad the righteousness white the righteousness are white and they are created from the right shoulder of Adam and the black people they are not the righteousness this is why they are created from the left shoulder let me see if I can find you the hadith. All right. We go here. I'm not sure if it's going to be exist in English uh, I will try to find it Anyway, I will try to find it in English. Maybe we can we can show you. We never say anything without proof. And if there is any Muslim, he is saying, or he have the courage to challenge me to find the reference, please call me right now and it challenge me and get me busted. I don't want to give you this because you know this website is hard to find uh, things like their search engine is not easy to find. Um, I will find it do we have any Muslim is willing to give us a call please guys don't forget to share the link we have only 140 people listening which is really small number you see if we are Muslims uh, every Muslim will bring with him four wives 70 kids and his four mother-in-law to watch so you can do better Share the link with your friends in you, you know, in, in everywhere you can, and let us get more people to learn the truth. How I can claim that I am a prophet of God and I am against paganism when I am a pagan person who believe in fictions about stones as an example Muhammad he taught his followers that the black stone is going to witness for the Muslims in the judgment day why how let me see if I can find the hadith Look like it's not showing. Hmm. No. Uh, 
And by the way, uh, Umar al Khattab he exposed Muhammad and lies about the black stone. Let us see. Hmm. Um, okay. Let us try this option here. No, so look like we cannot find the hadith in English for some right some reason. It is a change. I will find it. There is no way. Okay. Hmm. It should be here. Let us see. Okay, let's go to the house with companion and observe the prayer. Okay. Hmm. Okay, look like this hadith here does not. I can show you the hadith in Arabic. The hadith actually I have I have the hadith, I can find it in a second. But I want it I want it to be because this should be exist in English. But for some reason it's not coming when I search for it in this website, which does not make sense. All right, here we go. We found at least this one. This is not exactly the one I want, but it does the job. Allah Messenger said about the black stone. By Allah, by Allah, Allah will raise it on the resurrection or the day of resurrection. Allah will raise what? He's talking about the stone. So the black stone is going to be raised with two eyes by which it sees and tongue that it is speaks with testifying to whoever touch it in the truth you Muslims you claim that you are not pagans and you don't believe in stupid stories about stones presenting God speaking to God and they are the idols of God so what is this stone which is going to have two funny eyes and is going to have a tongue let us make it more clear you know, you know me. I, you know, I'm an artist. You know, because so he used to learn from me. Excuse me, I'm very humble. Let us make it more clear for the Abdul, because Abdul are very s slow. They have a very slow processor. If we go and search for the black stone, let us find the black stone image. Maybe we can find it here. Hold on, let us see. Let us see. Okay, look like here they don't have it in this website. So we have to go to Google. Let us go to Google. All right.
this is the black stone I am going now to see how the words of Muhammad will work and come to be true Muhammad he said the one to witness in the, and is going to speak and is going to have eyes all right this is not me saying that this is Muhammad saying that remember so let us see how this will work this is the tongue of the black stone all right I told you I am an artist and nobody can beat that you don't agree see now okay so now Muhammad the genius Muhammad who don't believe that he's not a pagan no way he believed that the black stone have a tongue coming from its mouth and he believed that the black stone have two eyes All right, look how sexy it is. Uh, not, I, I, he did not mention the eyebrows, but I'm going to add them just you know because that will make this female look better. Uh, we can add lashes too. I mean, here are some lashes, you know. I mean, I, I, uh, yeah, all right. So now we have a black stone with two eyes. And a beautiful long red tongue. Who in the world of you Muslim can explain that to me? Who in the world from those who claim not to be pagan Muslims can explain to me what Muhammad said? about the black stone is going to have eyes and tongue guys be honest don't you think I'm an artist what do you think I mean now we know exactly what will happen in the judgment day this black stone which looked like a vagina hmm, is going to come to us in the judgment day and is going to say to Christian Prince look what are you a turkey or what and what language the black stone will talk what if somebody is from China what the black stone will say to him Ching -ho, he -ho, he -ho. like what how many languages the black stone is going to speak as you know not all the Muslims speak Arabic actually not even maybe 7% of the Muslims they speak Arabic No, no, I did not forget the nose, my friend. I I have to be honest here. Muhammad, he said, is going to have two eyes and one tongue. Did Muhammad say a nose? Come on. If we if we add the nose, the Muslim, they will accuse us of corruption. Here we go. They add the nose. See, the Prophet did not say nose. As if that would make any difference anyway. Do we have any Abdul want to explain to us what Muhammad is saying? The black stone is going to have eyes and it's going to have a tongue. You better watch more Muslims when you go and do pipi and poo poo stones, they will witness for everything because they are seeing it, you know. Actually. If we go to the hadith if you read carefully with me you will see and you will notice right away how stupid this hadith is Allah messenger said let me take this paint off I need to buy paint remover hold on you know how blonde women they 
they they they fix the grammar as, as somebody told me a joke supposedly it might be a racist against the blonde but don't don't be upset it's a joke you know he said that uh, the blonde women it fixed the grammar in the word microsoft word they put uh, white uh, 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 white on in the screen all right now i'm not going to do that so now when muhammad he said that the black stone is going to have eyes and tongue to speak with testifying to whatever touch it in truth that means that when you touch the stone the stone is like a vacuum machine is going to suck your sin and in the judgment day the stone is like a computer it's your turn now the stone will open your file and the stone will start to flip in her eyes and her tongue and saying all your secrets so this tongue here will start exposing all your secrets i think this tongue should be big i don't know why i make it small yeah, I think this is better here. Yeah. That's a beautiful. That's actually very, very beautiful. By the way, uh, uh, I, I got an offer to stop uh, uh, making videos and books against Islam and to start like a drawing, you know, because they told me that you are fantastic in drawing. So I don't know. What do you think, guys? I think I I, I think can I can do good, and I will be famous and draw. You know, I will start painting Muhammad. Hmm. And let me add something here in the in the tongue. Just you know to make it more sexy for the Abdul because they might upset from this you know tongue. It looked weird, you know. So I will make it more sexy, and I will give it here. Uh, a pimple. Okay, so this uh, it's not the pure black, you know, red. There's a pimple there, and now we will go and make the eyes again. I will make the eyes big this time because Muslim men they like big eyes. It took like a cow. What the heck is that? This is eyes. I'm really scared now. So you Muslims, you are telling me that your God is the prophet who tell the truth. And the truth is, in the judgment day, we are going to have a stone with a tongue and two eyes. It's not enough, the tongue of your mother-in-law in earth. No, we have the tongue of your black stone. Do we have any Muslim in the bushes would like to explain to us the amazing religion of Islam? Hmm? Anyone? Hold on, I need to make the stone more sexy. As long as Muslim, they like blonde girls, you know. So this is the black stone now. It's getting here. All right, I can work in hairdressing too. You know, I have many skills. I mean, this is so beautiful. I don't know. Like, I wish I can get the black stone phone number so I can give her a call and see if we can go for a date. Do we have any Muslim around? Want to tell us what's happening? This is Islam. So Islam after is after after uh, uh, the Arab after Islam and Islam after or before and nothing changed. It's still the same stupid religion.
يعني يا عبدول Do we have any Muslim person here would like to give us a call and give us a little explanation for this beautiful design of Allah? I know, I know, nobody, nobody, his imagination reached that point which is coming in my head right now about drawing the tongue as Muhammad, he said, and the eyes and the hair. That because you guys, I don't know, you are not gifted. I'm gifted, what I can say. Just use your imagination. And what make it more sexy is the really the huge tongue. <laughs> it's like a dog, man. What is that? Do we have any Muslim here? Do you really Muslims believe after Muhammad saying what he said that you are not pagan? Talking stones? Stones with tongues? Stones with eyes and the stone look like a vagina And the Prophet kissing the stone ah hold on Hold on hold on when the Prophet was kissing the stone Guess what was happening? Let me make you understand better All right This is the tongue of the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him going inside the tongue of the black stone and now they are licking each other i mean that is so good man so now the black stone have a tongue the prophet have a tongue and the prophet is kissing the stone so the tongue of the prophet kiss the tongue of the black stone and now we have a very deep french kiss with the french fries where is your god where is your god where is your religion where is the one who don't believe in pagan stuff everything in your religion is a pagan What the heck is that? Huh? Do we have any truthful, decent Abdul in the bushes? He can give us a call and tell us what's going on. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim there? A prophet kissing a stone and the stone have a tongue and have eyes and have it's a vagina I mean that's that's too much and he must around notice notice no Muslim is calling us Uh, okay, my friend, if you found the hadith I was looking for in English, give me the link in Skype, no problem. Only if it's in English, huh? I want to buy a stone, really. Okay, no problem, just make a donation. I will send you any stone you want. We are the Arab, we have all the stones in the world. We can we know we can provide you with all kinds of size of stones. Like so we have we have by the way, we have stones with specific jobs. As an example, you want to break the neighbor's window. We have a special kind of stones. You want to hit an Israeli soldier. We will send you other kind of stones. You want to hit, uh, you know, the car of your girlfriend. We oh, we have a different round uh, uh, stones. You want to clean your bum with the stones as the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We can ship to you the best kind of stones, which is really sharp with sharp edges for the bum. To make it more like it feel good like after you do what you say I feel good la, 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 la. So good la la so good. Oh, oh, what the heck what is that? It's bleeding so good <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? 
by the way all the drawing i make i have a copyright over it i don't want anyone of you to take it and print it in his wall and start saying it in amazon hello i'm just saying you this is my art let me put my signature here hold on uh muhammad hookah Hashish Okay, now it's that's it you cannot you cannot there's no way you can play with the signature Where is the Muslims Do you really Muslim believe in this garbage? Huh? Do you? Do you? Hmm. Look what is left in the black stone lipstick from the kisses of Muhammad. I told you Muhammad he used to put Muhammad he used to put eyeliner. So why he will not put lipstick? And now he kissed the women in her lips, the black stone, and look what left over there. Yeah, those are the stones with actually Muhammad in different hadith. He said that when he go in the road, stones speak to him and they say to him, Assalamu alaikum. Like what? Stones they say to Muhammad, Assalamu alaikum. Are you sure? <laughs> oh boy. Obviously, Muhammad, he is qualified to be. Uh, a prophet hmm okay well uh, uh, our brother here he found me the hadith I'm looking for so let me show it to you in the screen thank you, our friend for sending me the hadith in English Okay, let us go there. We open new browser. We go to that hadith. All right. Islam line whatever the name is hadith white paradise black hell okay assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh may Allah peace and mercy and blessing upon you one of our brother and sister has asked this question assalamu alaikum I would like to know if the following hadith teach racism Allah Messenger, peace upon him, said, by the way, it doesn't say in Arabic, peace upon him. It says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which means Allah pray on him and salute him because Allah worked for Muhammad. Said, Allah created Adam when he had created him and he struck his right shoulder and he, and they are sorry, emitted them from it, which means the, white sho the right shoulder, a, a white of a spring. As if they're white ants. Ants? He struck the left shoulder and they are emitted from it black of a spring, as if they were charcoal. He then said to those who had been emitted from the right shoulder for paradise, and I don't mind. And then he said, those who they have been emitted from the left shoulder, they are for hell, and I don't mind. <laughs> and you know, they try to fool those African American, saying to them, Islam is the religion who loves everybody, 
we don't discriminate between white and black we are not like those Christians who have KKKK who told you the KKK are Christians to be a Christian and to be from the KKK you have to bring me a verse from the Bible says that you can be a KKK and you can hate somebody he is a black the Bible says for God loved the whole world he sent his only begotten son for all of us all the world doesn't matter white black Asian who care but this is what we find from your prophet that the white people they will go to heaven and they are created from the right shoulder of Adam and the black people they are going to go to hell and they are created from the left shoulder and as we said here the word right shoulder and left shoulder for some people might don't understand in Islam the right hand is the right is the is the is the is the hand of God is the righteousness the left hand is the hand of sin this is why Muslim is not allowed to clean his bum or his anus with his right hand He should eat only with the right hand and the left hand is the one to clean your bum with it Do we have any Muslim here he have something to say Any Muslim would like to call us Guys, how come then I am created from the uh, uh, the right shoulder of Allah, but yet I will go to hell? <laughs> I mean, hey, Muhammad, are you sure? Hello, the Muslim they keep saying to me, Christian Prince, you are going to go to hell. But based on the hadith, I am created from the right shoulder, and I should go to heaven. So what we will do now? How you can solve this problem? Hmm? Any Abdul? All the white people they will go to heaven, including me. Okay, let me get my clo uh, what, the clothes. What the clothes? Are you idiot? Are going to go to heaven of Allah? You will be naked there. What the clothes for? This will remind me when I when I, I went in the army. You know those guys. They are coming first time to join the army. They are naive like you will see each one of them he's he bring a, a hair comb with him you are coming to serve in the army and you bring a hair comb with you you think your hair will stay <laughs> unbelievable unbelievable do we have any abdul in the bushes so here as long as we are talking about this story and as long you guys you like my art I, I don't blame you by the way I mean who can who can like I mean resist this art I do all right so uh, let us say uh, this is uh, mr. Adam Adam was red he was Native American red this they call them the, the red Indian right I don't know uh, so this is Adam mr. Adam Our grandfather. I mean, what's wrong with my drawing? I see. I think because I'm not practicing my amazing arts lately. Let me do it again. I think I need to change the pencil down. Yeah, something better, something better. Okay, hold on. This is Mr. Adam. This is his hair, you know, and this is his eyes, and this is his head, and this is his nose. I don't laugh at me. Okay, I, ha I have to do it again because one of you he did move my computer. Sorry, I mean, what's wrong? 
We cannot keep doing this way. Okay. That's better. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, MashaAllah. All right, this is Adam. All right, and this is his right shoulder, and this is his hand, and this is his left hand. All right. Allah came from the back of Adam and he used his hand which has five fingers as you know and he hit the right shoulder of Adam so this is the hand of Allah hitting the shoulder of Adam right away after he hit the shoulder of Adam white people came out white 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 this is me here we go this is me you see me yeah this is my dad yeah that one this is my cousin Abdul uh, and this is my cousin Ali Baba you see that we are the white Arab we are coming from the right hand uh-huh yeah this is us uh, this is my family this is my yeah, this is not this is not my cousin. I don't know him. This guy is an idiot. Uh, yeah, see, we, this is the Arab coming from the the shoulder, the right shoulder of Adam. We came like a spray from his hand, and then Allah, He come, and He did the same to Adam in the left shoulder. So He came here, He extended His hand. Allah hand, by the way, is so long. I mean, He can reach anywhere. I'm, just ask me. All right. And he hit Adam here in his left shoulder. And right away, the black babies, they came out. Black, 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 black. Muhammad Ali, this is Muhammad Ali. Yeah, this is uh, this is uh, Michael Jackson. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, they are coming out. If, 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 if like Africa, Africa, Africa is coming. All Africa. Africa here, Africa there. Oh, those are from Jamaica because they are like kind of mixed. Jamaican, yeah, 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 from Sudan, yeah, Rapso man, Rapso man, yeah, oh, unbelievable. True story. It looked like when Adam was exist at that time, he don't have something, it's called balls. He don't have them. At that time, Adam used to make babies from his hands. I think he used to use his fingers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I hate myself. I hate myself. What the heck is that, man? That is super intelligence. I mean, who can beat this knowledge of the Prophet Muhammad bees upon him? This is beyond imagination. This is too much. <sighs> Guys, if you look in the text and see how many people are saying you are kidding me, I think one day I'm going to be sued because one of you died because of heart attack from laughing. Don't blame me. Blame the idiot Muhammad. This is not my problem. <laughs> this is this is so amazing, man. This man, Muhammad, he have a lot of imagination. We have to admit. This is a lot of imagination. I am so glad <laughs> that Muhammad he did not say that Allah he touched Adam nipples, the right nipple, and we came out white from his right nipple, and he did not say he touched his left uh, nipples and we came black from the nipples. I mean, I don't like to come from the nipples. At least from hand is better. From the hands. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. He did not say hands. You are lying. It says shoulder. Muhammad, based on this, he believed 
that the sperm of Adam is coming from this specific location. Let us make it clear. This location. Here. This is where the sperm of man they come from. And this is, by the way, proven by science. Actually, if you are a married woman and your husband is going to make love to you tonight, try to do this. Hit your husband at his shoulder when he is making love to you and you will see he will have orgasm in less than 20 seconds. Like, like what happened? Why you touch my shoulder? The sperm failed. It came down. You hit it. Why you hit it? Don't you know that all the sperm is there? <laughs> That's too much. That is astonishing. Sperm coming from the shoulders. How Muhammad he got this knowledge? This man is super duper genius. I cannot resist. I'm going to say Shahada right now. This is must be coming from a prophet of God. Hmm. From now on, if a woman she says to you, you have a nice shoulders. She is saying something dirty. You better know. Hmm. Interesting. Do we have any Abdul in the bushes? He would like to give us a call. Who is a Muslim Abdul? He agree with his prophet saying what he is saying. This is why when I go out, even in the, in the summertime, I wear a special kind of coat because I'm afraid you know imagine you go in the bus and somebody by mistake he hit you in your shoulder and then a sperm start coming like inside the bus how embarrassing it's very dangerous you have to be careful my friend all the sperm is coming from the shoulder but Muhammad in the Quran, he said that the sperm coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. So what happened to Adam? Ah, this is what it called. What they call it, what they call it. Let me think of something. <laughs> the correct, the correct word, you know. <laughs> uh, human uh, uh, evolution. Hmm. So this science by the prophet muhammad we can say it's a proving something amazing can be this or can be considered as stages of a human evolution that's astonishing how muhammad he knew that So look what happened in the beginning of the history of mankind his sperm used to be in his shoulder then after a while his sperm come down to his nipples here but however if you think that the nipple at that time used to be here my friend you are mistaken Nepal at that time, I believe they used to be in different location. I think, I think mostly the nipples of Adam used to be uh, like here. And then because the evolution, they went down and down and down. And then the nipples themselves, they convert to be balls later. That's beyond our understanding do we have any Muslim here hmm? what do you mean I need art listen nobody can draw like me I was number one in my classroom in drawing 
you know. But this is was a long time in the cave time, you know, when we are trying to draw in the cave walls. So I was like the best. Hmm? Any Muslim would like to give us a call? Well, what I can do? I mean, these days people don't appreciate art. Don't you see? I once, I, once I, uh, I enter a gallery, they say there's an artist here. So I went inside to see what the gallery is about. I saw like nothing. There's, there's a bunch of colors mixed together. You know, like somebody was walking in, the, in them. You know, they have. There is no drawing. Somebody throwing colors in the in the paint and the in the in the board, and suppose this artist and the and the people taking selfie with it. I can do one. Seriously, there's nothing. This guy he throw uh, like uh, yellow, the blue, blah, and he, he he just mix them. There's no like you cannot even see anything. There's nothing, and people they are buying it, and they are spending a lot of money. So why you are laughing, man? At least here I you see something interesting. You know he, this guy he looked like uh, Ahmadinejad. Oh boy, do we have any Abdul here? Guys, you did not bring me any Abdul. Huh? This is not W. You see, this is the problem with people who they are not educated about arts. Kim is asking, what is the W? How you come to the conclusion that this is W, Kim? Hello? What's wrong with people? This is balls. Balls. Are women, you don't know how they look like. Those are balls. Those are the balls of Adam. But at the time of Adam, Adam, he don't used to have balls because Muhammad, he claimed that the sperm is coming from his shoulders. So obviously, at that time, the evolution did not make Adam have balls. It was something happened later. Mm -hmm. Our grandfather, Adam, don't have balls. No wonder he used to wash the dishes for Eve. <laughs> what the heck is that? Do we have any Abdul here? This is a religion? This is the religion of Islam? So all those speeches about the amazing prophet, the amazing religion, and all the lies about the prophet said there is no difference between the black and white in the last sermon, which is a lie. Hmm? Any Abdul? Hello? Yeah, you see those ladies here, they are asking the same question about the W. I mean, look at those ladies, guys. From all the drawing I have in the draw, in the board, they're concerned only what is the letter W mean. I mean, you see, do you know what I'm talking about? They are trying, huh? Yeah, but you, they think you are fool. Like, we don't know what they were. The, okay, okay, I, we, know, we got it, we got it, yeah. Yeah, like, you know, I was going to ask the same question too. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Okay, let me change. Let me let me re remove those balls. Obviously, they are causing us a lot of boring headache. Okay, here we go. The balls of Adam are gone. Are you happy? It is not W no more. All right, Adam. He don't used to have balls. He used to have uh, something different. He used to have uh, you know a list. Okay. All right. Container, whatever, you know, upside down. <laughs> Are we happy now? No, I don't think Adam, he likes circle ones. Because at that time, he is not wearing clothes, you know. So, like, you know, they might fill in the ground and they might, like, roll down and go to the beach. And the fish will eat them. Do we have any Abdul? Any Abdul in the bushes? What is the Abdul? I am a truly, truly disappointed. Not even a single Abdul will call us and tell us what's happening.
Hmm? Guys, you are not doing a good job. You are not bringing me Abdul. You want to have fun, you have to bring me Abdul. And you will see how Abdul, he start defending this. What is the first thing Abdul, he will say? He will say, this is a weak hadith. My friend, this is not a weak hadith. Hmm? The all Islam is weak. Muhammad is weak. Muhammad himself, he said, I was the most weak person between all mankind in bing bing bong bong bang bang. You know, uh, uh, one in, in my last visit, you know, uh, in Asia, I saw uh, I saw a woman. She is selling fried food in her table, but all the food she have is insects, cockroaches, weird insects. So I said to her, what is that? This is, is that a cockroach? She doesn't speak English. She said, sir, sir, this is very good for boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, boy. Adam, you need to, to eat some cockroaches because obviously something wrong with you, my friend. Your sperm is coming from the wrong location. You need to eat some cockroaches, so maybe, maybe your problem will be solved and you will start having balls. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Uh, yeah. No, no, the boom boom is all over. This use everywhere. You boom boom is became an international dictionary. <laughs> Yeah. Do we have any Abdul here? Hmm? Any Abdul? No Abdul? So what now? You Muslims, you let us in this dilemma about you Adam and the shoulder of Adam and the black people, they are coming from the left shoulder and uh, the right the, the white people created from the right shoulder i mean what does that mean and the white people they will go to heaven the black people will go to hell so what we will do now what is next what about the asian man i mean what's wrong with muhammad he never heard of the asian if you look at this story you will find there's something really wrong he spoke about where the white people come from where the black people are coming from okay what about the asian huh what is the Asian? The Muslims. Where the Asian is coming from? White come from the right hand or right shoulder. Black, they come from the left shoulder. Asian are coming from where? Let me think, let me think, let me think. Where, 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 where? I give up. Any Abdul? Hmm. I don't know. I will draw you, Rene. Rene, I don't draw. I don't draw women. Why I want to draw women, man? We men, we draw something beautiful, like Adam, Muhammad, Allah. Something really beautiful. Women, ah, that would disgust. Oh, come on. Look at this prophet Adam, peace upon him, how beautiful he is. The sperm coming from the right hand, the sperm coming from the left hand. This guy, however he moves his hand, his sperm is coming. Look like you cannot even shake hands with Adam at that time. Always his hands is wet and they are full of a sperm. Hmm? That's so amazing. And Abdul in the bushes. What happened to the Abdul? They are like what? Immigration, uh, vacation? Hmm? <laughs> From the W. <laughs> we we erased the W already. You get back to the W. Why? Why you want to remind us about the W? Come on, this drama is not going to be over. I'm sorry. I've, I I will not write the word W again. I promise. That's it. 
okay, forgive me. They go back to the W. Like it's like it's, they will never forgive me about the W thing. Unbelievable. You know, there is the Arab. The Arab they have a tradition. Uh, there's many things you can do, but there's one thing you cannot do. Anyone knows? And if you do, they will remember it forever. Anyone knows? Who is an Arab in the bushes here? If you fart, if you fart, you will be remembered by your fart forever. So there's a Bedouin guy, he did fart while well, he is sitting with his friend. Start talking about Hamad. His name is Hamad. Hamad. So Hamad Ford. The tribe start talking about Hamad. Hamad farted. Do you know what happened, brother? What? Hamad farted. What? Yes, he farted. So the news is spread all over. The guy, he hated himself. He decided to leave his tribe. He decided to go to different land, to different country. So he can forget about it. So he left. He left when he was like 19. He came back when he is almost 60. So when he arrived to his tribe location, he found an old woman. He's trying to remember her. He said to her, aren't you the sister of etc she said yes he said where is your brother she said i don't know really he left the tribe 15 years after hamad farted <laughs> the fart of hamad became <laughs> became a point of history when he left he left it 15 years after hamad farted and he asked her about the other guy. He know he's a friend. He said, "Will he get married about eleven years after Hamad farted?" <laughs> and he said to her, "What about you?" She said, "Now I have like seven kids. Uh, the first one I have him about three years after Hamad farted." <laughs> so the poor guy, he went away for forty years. He came back, and still they are talking about his fart, and even they are dating his history. <laughs> by the fart of Hamad and here you go you guys are dating the history of my drawing by the W like come on can't you forget about the W do we have any Muslim here from the www.com Islamic website any Abdul <clears throat> they draw you well if I draw you you will be sorry and you will sue me and you might commit suicide do we have any Muslim here hmm any Muslim no Muslims so you Muslims agree with this are you serious Muslims do you agree with this I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm really, I'm really so, so, so disappointed. But you know, I have to admit that Muhammad, he have a lot of knowledge. I mean, his knowledge, this guy, is sometime, most of the time, is beyond imagination. How Muhammad knows all of this, unless he is a prophet of God? No way. No one can explain such a knowledge unless he is a prophet of Allah, specifically Allah. Hmm? Anyone? We were talking about Yemen Kaaba. Yeah. Hmm. Any Abdul? Yeah, yesterday we were talking about the Yemeni Kaaba, the Temple of Al Makkah. 
let us go back and speak about this and maybe we can get some Abdul he call us and we speak about the shoulders of Adam later uh, temple of Mecca Yemen Okay. Let us see. Anyway, you know, you can is made about this uh, topic about this temple but simply uh, the Mecca the name of Mecca the city where the Kaaba is located is coming from uh, 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 the temple of Al Mecca or Al Makkah you know uh, Let us see. <clears throat> Let us see. Here we go. This is from the British Museum. Religion in the ancient South Arabia. All right. Now I don't approve everything there. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not a historian. But there is a very clear evidence that what is what we have today is called Mecca, is a counter uh, uh, counterfeit of the original temple from Yemen. You know, uh, you will see here how those all those temples are built by the Sabian, and the Sabians are the one who came from Haran, which is in Iraq. You see, and you are making fun of my drawing. I mean, look at this. So my drawing is bad for you, and this is supposedly better. Okay. All right. Uh, look at this guy. Yeah, I'm sure that the Muslims is the one who cut his hands, try to break it. They destroy any any history. You see, they cut their hands, and he used to have legs too. Sad. Oh, this guy, his hands is there. Uh, he is saved from the terrorist. Interesting. Let us see. Yeah. Where is Saba's God was Al Mecca. Here, by the way, here they say that it is the Son of God. But most of the new studies, they decided that al Makkah was never been the sun god, it was the moon god. And actually, this is the proof. You see here with me, the uh, uh, the male cow. You remember we spoke about the crescent moon? The crescent moon supposedly is the two horn of the ox, of, of the male cow, which represent the strong sexual god. So those people, they used to believe that when the moon, the crescent moon, is in the sky, uh, then they will, uh, uh, they, like, it's time to have a sexual uh, uh, life because God himself now is horny and he is putting his two horn, giving the sign that now I can bless you and make your women bread net. Even they used to do, uh, like, bring animals together for mating, uh, uh, when 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 uh, when the sign in the in the sky is appearing 
Uh, let us see. Yeah, here you see the 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 queen the queen of Sheba, uh, but you know I don't I don't agree with everything they say there. However, I believe there is some truth in what is written, and there is some fictions too. History always something mixed between history, real history, and fiction, and you have to dig hard to find by yourself what what is the truth. You know, website of the Sabi and Assembly. Okay. Yeah, the the Sabians are the the uh, uh, the first one who have impact in the Islamic religion. Uh, Muhammad, obviously, he was. In a certain time, considered as a Sabian. This is why he adopted their evolution. He adopted their Ramadan. Ramadan is a Sabian practice. Evolution is uh, uh, is a Sabian practice. Um, uh, many things are are from the Sabian, and the Sabian uh, they hate the Jews too. You know, the Sabian they teach that the Jews who their God Adonai is Satan. Their God Adonai, he taught them to circumcise. So the Sabian, they believe that the Jewish are satanic people who worship a God. He is not their God for sure. And he is, uh, his name is Adonai. All right. They have a lot of hate to the Jews. Anyway, do we have any Muslim in the bushes? Any Abdul? <laughs> Anyone? Actually, I get a video, but I'm not sure if I can play it for you. It is... Uh, anyone of you heard Jad? Jad, you are a Muslim? Mr. Jad, you are a Muslim? There's a guy, he says, I, I challenge you. Mr. Jad, are you a Muslim? I don't know, he's not answering. Any one of you heard before the Jews calling for a prayer? Anyone heard the Jews of prayer call for prayer? Who heard it before? Nobody? If you hear the Jewish call for a prayer, you will see that Muhammad is exactly trying to copy the Jews call for a prayer, which is today called the Adan. When the Jews they call for a prayer, they call for Adonai. And you will see and you will notice that is Muhammad and Islam is just trying to copy the Jews. Well, I wish I can play the video for you, but I'm afraid maybe they have a copyright over it. Uh, otherwise, uh, there is a nice video actually. I I uh, I saw it. But maybe I can give you a link later after after the video is finished. I will post a link for it. I will post the link for it in my minds.com. All right. Happy. Uh, Let's see.
אין לי אבדול. ולא יימת חביבי ג'אד, שלונק, שכברק. I was wondering man, your name is ג'אד מחול, ואינט מסלם? מה ינפע יעני, שינו הזה? מה יסחיר? في خربطة بالكهرباء كيف مخول وكيف مسلم شنو هذا؟ Do we have any Abdul here? I was speaking to him in Indian. Any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul in the bushes? Hello? Hello, it's me you are looking for. And Muslims, they are looking for me everywhere, but you cannot find me. You can, wait, Christian Prince, there is Muslim making a challenge for me in their website like 10 years ago. Until now, they cannot find me. I do broadcast almost every day, but until now, they cannot find where Christian Prince. The coward he is hiding. Where is he? I want to debate him, but he is not there. You know? <clears throat> any Abdul are you from Saudi no my friend my story is really long to tell you how I am I came to life what happened that when Allah he hit the shoulder of Adam my grand grand grandfather he was a white man he came out and it happened that when Allah he hit the shoulder of Adam he hit his shoulder when he was a flying coming from the seven heaven so my grandfather he got married he have kids he started having kids all over still he was in the sky he was coming down you know from the seven eleven galaxy you know like far away like it take millions of years so what happened when my mother she gave delivery to me she was trying to do landing and all the airports in the world, they will not give us approval because they thought we are refugee. You know, refugee come in alien, alien refugee. Never heard of refugee until Her Majesty, the Prime Consulate of uh, Germany, she said, all refugees are welcome. And then my mom, she landed there and she gave delivery to me in New York, in Germany. And this is a true story. You can find it in Sahir Bukhari. I hope I did answer your, your question, my brother. This is what the Muslims do when you ask them a question. They talk about everything except the question itself. <clears throat> do we have any Abdul? Anyone? All right. <laughs> All right, this is the Jewish call for the prayer. You just heard part of it. The Jewish part call for the prayer is what the Muslims today they call it the Adhan. It was a theft from the Jews. I will post the video in my account in minds.com. You can go and you can watch it. and see it and this guy who is making the call for the prayer he have a nice voice you can tell but the most amazing thing about him if you watch him this guy he is not making a call for a prayer he is a praying from all his heart like this guy is really jumping like uh, you know uh, 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 just you see you need, you need to watch it it's beautiful. Do we have any brave Muslim in the bushes? No one. Any Abdul? I don't know. I feel I feel like because I'm weak, the Muslim don't want to talk to me. It's something like that. Do you think this is a reason?
your friend is a Muslim, he's afraid. Well, I will do nothing to him. I'm very peaceful. You know, one, once, a, once a lady, she came to my mom's house and she knocked at the door like crazy. Open the door, open the door. So they opened the door and she told my mom, I saw your son. I saw your son. He was fighting like with 10 guys. And my mom, like she got worried. Which one, which one? Describe him for me. And then when the woman, she started describing, she noticed that it is me. So my mom, she said, ah, don't worry. Don't worry about him. Worry about them. Get in, get in. Let's drink some coffee. Let us drink some coffee. I was really upset, man. I mean, shouldn't my mom worry about me? Fighting 10 guys? Unbelievable. What kind of mother this mother is? She don't worry about her son? So what if I was a bad boy? Hello? <laughs> anyway. Don't worry. Be happy. So where is the 10 Abdul who want to come here? And they want to call me right now. Can we get 10 Abdul? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, this is a true story. This, this is not Sahih al-Bukhari, I'm telling you. <laughs> Don't worry about him. Worry about them. Any Abdul? No? Look like we have no choice today. Do you have a long beard? Well, I don't know really how long it is, but I did shave my beard because once I got a ticket, and this is a true story. I was driving in the highway and my beard was flying from the window and like many accidents happened, so they gave me a ticket. They told me, the judge, he ordered me to shave my beard because it is like a national security uh, concern. Hmm? Yeah, yes, Mr. Jad, I agree. Now forget about my beard. Focus in the shoulder of Adam, my friend. Who care about my beard now? My beard will not make babies. The shoulders of Adam make babies. Our brothers and sisters, the African, they are coming from the left shoulder of Adam. I'm really concerned now where the Asian are made from. We are made from the right shoulder. The African made it from the from the left shoulder. The Asian made from where? How many shoulders Adam have? He have two shoulders. So now where is the Asian coming from? Hmm? Yeah, the W of Adam. No Muslims? All right. Look like uh, <clears throat> Things is not is not good, you know. We need to find customers. Uh, there is there is something wrong with the supply of customers. You guys, you need to post in Facebook, in Twitter, everywhere, and tell your friends that we have a problem here. We need you. We need you. Hmm? Uh, somebody is saying to me that most likely Adam he came from uh, Asian. They came from Adam knee. So are you asking me now to draw the whole picture again and draw the knee of Adam and draw sperm coming from there? I'm not going to do that. Why you make it so long? I mean, the knee? I mean, make it the waist, make it the belly bomb, the knee. That's very far. Any Abdul? Uh, you know, Renee, she used to bring for us some Muslims. I don't know what's wrong with her. She is not doing anything. And I don't know why she is being lazy. Do you know, guys, do you know why females, they can get Muslims to call? Do you know why they come when a female invite them? Because if a female challenge them, then the Muslim, he want to show her that he is the real male. Like, you know, okay, I'm going to call him, huh? Now the yeah if it's if a male challenge him he will not call, but if a female call and she say okay we'll call him if you are a man, I'm like what, what, are you saying I'm not a man? Okay, she's a female and she is saying if you are a man call him I'm going to call even if he's going to spank me who care. This why, if a if a male 
challenge them to come you know you will not come over you don't say that what do you say Renee? what do you say what is your secret how do you make it <clears throat> And why you cannot accomplish it no more? Did you change your hair color? It used to be blonde before because Muslims they like a blonde. What happened? And you have in the bushes. Huh? And you have Yeah. No, Abdul. I know I'm so disappointed. I thought today we are going to have a lot of debates, and the Muslim they will come in like they will be coming like rain. Right? Any Muslim? Muslims, if you call us, you do not need to answer what is in the screen. We can forget about it, no problem. Already we forgot about it. The same as if I forgot about the W. The same as I forgot about Hamad. The one who did it 40 years ago. I, I, it's gone from our... Don't worry about it. We can change the topic for you. Hmm? Anyone? <clears throat> Yeah, it's a Friday. Today, the Muslims, they do their homework. I remember once when I was a student, uh, we went with a, a driver. His name is Abu Muhammad. So, uh, actually, Friday, they don't do the homework. It's a, a, th a Thursday. So, uh, he is like yawning. <laughs> so, we ask him, are you tired? You did not sleep good yesterday? He said, yesterday, it was Thursday. You know, we are Muslim. We do the homework. I don't know what homework he is an old guy. You know, we are a student going to school. He is an old guy. What homework? So we said, Do you go to school? He said, My son, homework is you know, with your wife. We do it every Thursday. We are Muslims. <laughs> every Thursday. <laughs> Once a week. It's a homework. <laughs> All right. So maybe the Muslims yesterday, they were doing their homework, but what about today? Today is a Friday. Hmm? Hmm? They have no excuse. Right? Because Friday, they are off. Friday, they are off. So they do the homework in, a, in, a, in Thursday. <clears throat> <laughs> you got it? Any Abdul? <clears throat> Can you count <clears throat> how many times I say any Abdul a day? All right. <clears throat> Let us change the topic. Let us change the topic. As long as we are talking about a Friday. <clears throat> You see, the Muslims, as we know, they consider their Friday as holiday. Correct? Correct. But is it really mentioned in the Quran that you take holiday as a Friday? Let us see together. What do you think, guys? Does it say that in the Quran? It doesn't say that. <clears throat> In chapter 62, this is where the word appear in the whole Quran, only once about the word. But if you read the verse, it doesn't speak about any holiday, it's called a Friday. The verse exposes a problem Muhammad and the Muslims used to suffer from. All who you believe, when the call is proclaimed to prayer in Friday, here between two brackets says the day of assembly, this is, this is not exist in the Quran. 
hasten earnestly to the remembrance of Allah and leave off business that is best for you if you but know or knew. Anyone understand what it says there? Muhammad, he used to live where? We just mentioned that Muhammad was copying the Jews, correct? Muhammad lived in the city of Al-Madina, which is Yathrib. Yathrib, <coughs> Yathrib, uh, the city of Yathrib, is what is called today Medina most them they change the name to Medina and because they live with the Jews what happened in a Friday afternoon anyone can tell me what happened in Friday afternoon if you live with the Jews? Let us see who of you will give me the correct answer. What will happen? Anyone knows? Yeah, what will happen? Afternoon of Friday is the Sabbath. You see, Sabbath is not from the middle of the night as today to the middle of the night by based on the calendar. The Jewish Sabbath start from Friday afternoon or the sunset of Friday. So what people do, because they live with the Jews, and the Jews are the one who do the business always. They are the one who do the farming. The Arab do not know how to do farming. The Arab, the, the, the Jews in Medina, they were able to, to accomplish farms in the middle of the desert. So they have vegetables, they have food, they have fruits, they have everything. And because they are the one who control the, ma the market, then if you want to do shopping, you have to do it before Friday is over. Otherwise, the Sabbath is coming. So Muhammad, he suffered from problem. He asked his followers, Allahu Akbar, Allah, well, nobody come. Nobody come. Nobody is called a prayer. So Muhammad, he had to make a verse claiming that this is Allah order, that this best call you Friday, you, you leave it come. Because it was very embarrassing prayer and they show up. Why the word of Friday mentioned have nothing to do with something called a Friday as the assembly day. That is false. The assembly day is mentioned in the hadith, never mentioned in the Quran. <clears throat> My voice is cutting off. Well, obviously, I have a bad internet, but I can do. The liars, the internet company, you know, I have agreed my, you know, and, and they say to me, it is fast, but it's not. Maybe I should call them. <clears throat> Any Abdul? Maybe, maybe it's bad the bend in your server. Refresh your page from your side. Maybe it's from your side. Because, you know, YouTube, they have many server, and each one of you here received the video from different one. Because if if it's from my side, then all of you should have a bad uh, sound. Uh, but as long as some of you, that means it's a it's a YouTube problem. <laughs> but as you see here, this is how Islam is accomplished. It is by problems happen to Muhammad, and Muhammad always, in order to fix a problem, even if it's a silly thing, he make a verse about it. Why he need to make a verse like this? Why? If this is if this is coming from God, 
you know why he need to make a verse about it he can tell the people okay guys in the Friday please don't uh, you know if you are busy come to the prayer leave your business in the side but to make a special verse about it and this is supposedly written the Quran written before Muhammad was born before Adam was born this is written long time ago and this is put in a board between the eyes of the angel Israfil so Allah he wrote because the Jews they opened their business until Friday afternoon and they close and the funny isn't it Allah who is says he is the one who said that in Sabbath you do no work so why Allah don't want the Muslims to finish buying their baloney stuff, vegetables, fruits, whatever, before the Sabbath? Because obviously the Jews, they want to obey Allah. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah, he made the Jews pigs and monkeys for not obeying Allah and obeying the Sabbath? Can you tell us about Jama'ah? What do you mean Jama'ah? When you mean Juma? This is the word Juma. Here we are talking about Friday. <clears throat> Any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul? You see, even my stomach is talking because there is no Abdul around. Where is the Abdul? Is it today Abdul free in the calendar? Is it uh, Abdul free day? Where is the Abdul? I mean, I can't believe it. Where are they? Look like it's Abdul free day. Where, where are they? What happened? There is something really fishy. Hmm. Anyone who have another question? We answer you about the Friday. Anything else? So there is nowhere in the Quran to speak about a Friday to be a holy day for the Muslims that can be found only in the hadith. Right? Any Abdul? Who is here first time joining us in YouTube? If you are first time, don't forget to subscribe, please. Rules of war. In Islam, there is no rules of war. There is no rules of war. Islam is a religion actually have no rules. And I mean it. Islam is a very flexible religion, for it is the same as a snake. As an example, Muhammad, when he was desperate for money, he used to capture his enemies and kidnap them and ask for ransom. But Muhammad, he don't want ransom for ransom mean nothing for him anymore because he will get he got the money and now he need to kill all the prisoners of war so look what he said in chapter 8 verse number 67 he claimed because he want to shut up the Muslims from asking for money all right <clears throat> it is not fitting for a prophet that he should have a prisoner of war until he go and be harsh and subdued everybody in the land you look for temporal goods which mean money for this world 
but Allah looks for the hereafter so tell me Muhammad he don't look for money why because Muhammad he decided to kill those prisoners and the Muslims they don't want to kill them because they want to get the ransom they want money and order Muhammad to make them obey and not to discuss with him anymore this issue which was a very normal practice he decided to make a verse says the Prophet said to me it is not fit for a prophet to keep prisoners of war so what we do you slaughter them all right <clears throat> Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim have a comment? Takalam an Ajuba at Muhammad. Aya Ajuba, ya Jad. Aya Ajuba. Ajad is asking me to speak about the miracle of Muhammad. Muhammad have many miracles. As an example, one of the miracles of Muhammad that he can have sex with all his wives in less than 20 minutes and seriously this is a miracle me myself and I can imagine me I mean me I cannot do that I mean I can't believe that Muhammad was able to beat me I can do it with the 12 women not 13 Muhammad he did beat me he is number one hero six Olympic he's Olympic six you know this guy he used to go to the Olympic like now we have Olympic in uh, in Russia so Muhammad looked like he used to have Olympic in his time of six and according to the Muslims they measure his power of 40 men and you are telling me that he is not having a miracle can you have do you have the power of 40 men you don't even have the power of 40 ants come on let us be honest here this guy, when he go to the bathroom, I mean to the room, to the bedroom, women didn't even take a break. Then again, then again, then again, then 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 again, then again, then again, then 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 women after women, no woman is allowed even to wear her panty for a second. No break, no stop. It's like a drilling machine. Actually, if the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him was exist today. We can find him very suitable for the business of oil drilling. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> he said that verse is about not taking a prisoner of war. Yes, about killing them. <laughs> Guys, he said that this verse is about not taking war prisoners. Yes, about killing them. If we have prisoners and we should not take them as a prisoner, what we would do to them is about to slaughter them. <laughs> so what we would do with them, free them? It says here to be harsh with them. Do you see it? To be tough on them. So what we would do with the prisoners? This is why the Muslim, they say, take no prisoner, which means slaughter them, kill them all. We spoke about the crusade. The crusade is something wonderful the Christians they did in their history. And if not the crusade, all the European and Western today, they will be Muslims, including the atheists, the Christians, and everybody. You will not have, have a freedom if the crusade did not defend the West. The crusade is the one who reserve your freedom today. If not the crusade, the whole the whole world will be you know subdued to the cult of Islam. Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> Anyone? 
So he says to you here it says take no prisoners. Yes, it take no prisoner to do what then to kill. We can go right now to the interpretation for the verse on what would now. Why you don't ask him to call me? This Abdul he told you what he said. He did him call me so we can laugh. <clears throat> can he call? He cannot for sure. Don't forget, guys, to subscribe to our channel, share our link with your friends, YouTube, tell people what, what we do. And uh, if you have a question, feel free to call me. Our Skype is for free. You don't. There's no money to cost you, uh, especially if you are a Muslim and you are stealing the electricity from the government uh, or from the electric company, and you are using the Wi-Fi of your neighbor. Hmm? Any Muslim? <coughs> No Muslim today. Actually, my 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 throat is hurting me today. I did uh, I eat fish, and by mistake I I swallow a little uh, tiny bone, and look like it's uh, stuck here. So I need to let me say Islamic prayer because this is the only way to make any fish get scared. Uh, <coughs> We do not need Act 17 group, Mr. Choice. You know, just post in your page. Don't worry about anyone else. We do not need anyone. Do we have any Abdul? Any brave Abdul? No, not even Abdul. Look like today we have uh, we have a problem with Abdul and we cannot find Abdul around. No, no, don't post there because they don't go there to our to that page anyway. And that the the person you are talking about, he will not approve a link about me in his page. So don't try. Any brave Abdul? You see, there are some people they don't like you if you don't, uh, if you like, if you don't take a side. Uh, for me, if somebody say something wrong, I say he says something wrong. I don't care who is he. Any Abdul? <clears throat> I am so disappointed that Abdul are not calling. So obviously, they don't want us to have the true answer about Islam. Mm -hmm. What do you say, Muslims? Let us see here. I'm looking at my Facebook page to see if there is any activities there. But look like it's uh, it's dead. <clears throat> if any of you from those who they are listening uh, ever met Abdul and you know uh, this Abdul he claimed that he knows Islam etc ask him to come and debate us it doesn't cost money he will win Anyway, I never saw a Muslim calling me and lost. You always win. There's no way. I never ever saw Muslim lose. It's impossible. 
very healthy food uh, like and not only they eat the healthy food they drink camel urine as you know which is very powerful no <clears throat> How many of you is subscribed to my page in uh, in Facebook? I think many of you do not even know about it. In case you do not know, I have a page, and it is the, the name of the uh, the Christian Prince. So if you search in, uh, you can go to uh, uh, Facebook after you do the dot com slash, and then the Christian Prince. The Christian Prince, Facebook.com slash the Christian Prince. And right away you will see it. Let me see if we can find it for you. Yeah, I think this is the one. Yeah. This is my address in Facebook. So if you have a page in Facebook, if you have an account, uh, feel free to subscribe. Always when I start my broadcast here, I post in that page too. This is the official one. All right. So try to subscribe. And then, Abdul, when you talk to them, you plus image Jesus when you talk to them. Okay, no problem. You know, the Muslims always they insult Jesus, but yet they claim that they love Jesus. So what? <clears throat> that is not a problem. The one who insults Jesus, he will deal with Jesus one day. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. I'm not here really to defend Jesus because he do not need my defense. I'm here to share truth so they will not be fooled and to share the truth of the Muslims so they will be saved. Otherwise, you know, who am I to defend him? Everybody, how stupid this religion is. And the one who would like to listen is free and the one who don't like, it's up to him. All right. <clears throat> Any Abdul? We are out of Abdul. Don't try. They will come after I, you know, I say I'm okay. I'm good night, goodbye, and then you. After you do that, then they will show up and they will start posting. Change the topic, Rainbow, and change the topic, Pin. I don't like this topic. Change it. Do we have any Muslim here? Who is a brave Muslim is going to call me? It's a shame, not even a single call today. Where are you? What is the difference between Islam and the Arab pagan? There is no difference. Any Muslim can show us any difference between them? It's exactly the same, nothing changed. Arab pagan, they have Kaaba. Muslim pagans, they have the Kaaba. Arab pagan, they have a black stone and they used to kiss the black stone. Muhammad the pagan, he kissed the black stone. The Arab pagans, they used to circle around the Kaaba. Muhammad the pagan, he circled around the Kaaba. The Arab pagan used to go between a Safa and al Marwa, which is a location of two male and female, who they had sex in the Kaaba and they placed an idols for them in two locations, two hills, 
it's called as Safa and the other one called Al Marwa and Muhammad he ordered his followers to practice the same exactly as Darab so what is the difference between the Arab pagans and the Muslims pagans any Abdul even the Muslims they hated to do a Safa they told Muhammad how we can do the Safa when this is the shrine of the pagan he said to them well a Safa and Al Marwa is from the shrine of Allah <laughs> but this is the shrine of the pagan how it became the shrine of Allah so he said to them there is no sin of you if you practice it so obviously it's not needed it is just no sin for Muhammad trying to be hypocrite to the Arab pagans saying to them I'm not going here to de destroy your religion there is no sin to do a Safa and Al Marwa why You could try to call that Quranist back for a laugh. I'm not going to call people, they have to call me. Yeah, it's all right. Any Muslim here? <clears throat> Everything was exists before Islam stays after Islam. Going naked around the Kaaba. The Muslims don't wear clothes when they do Hajj. They shave their head. They wear a sheet. Exposing all their body. They are naked. They wear a sandal made from one piece, supposedly. Which is funny. Why? Because the old religion, the pagan before them, they believe in that. You are not allowed to wear an underwear. Why? Because the religion of the pagan Arab about the Kaaba it was a sexual religion men and women they used to circle around the Kaaba totally naked wearing no clothes no clothes whatsoever so there is no difference between the Arab pagan and Islam the pagan religion it's exactly exactly the same Anyway, look like today we don't have really too many Muslims. So maybe today we will make it shorter for now. And I hope tomorrow, Saturday, we are going to have more Abdul. And we will have an exciting debate. Uh, and we will hear the other side of the story. You know, the reason I want Muslims to call, because I want people who they are, especially the new ones, to see that Muslims have no answer. You can watch all my previous videos and you see the debate with Muslims. And you will see not a single Muslim he knows even what Islam is about they don't know even what they are talking about we never found a Muslim he can answer a question and I have thousands of debates all over YouTube never there's no not even exist it's not exist because Islam simply is a kind of a very lousy religion Islam is like a mercury, you know, a uh, metal, uh, very flexible. It's hard to hold. It's hard to understand. It's hard. It's hard to 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 contain, because simply it's nothing. As you see, Muhammad he's a pagan with the pagan. He's a Christian with the Christian. He's a Jew with the Jew. He's a Sabian with the Sabian. He worshipped the three daughters of Allah when when he meet with those who worship the daughters of Allah. So this guy is very flexible. He's a gay with the gay. He is a he's, you know he's a thief with the thief. He's a holy man with the holy man. He is anything you want, except being truthful. <clears throat> All right. Uh, and always we prove that with 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 evidence, and you know Muslims cannot really. 
cannot answer that so I want to say guys thank you for being here tomorrow uh, I think maybe I should open early right because tomorrow is Saturday I think it's a good idea what do you think keep it at 4 30 or make it earlier any idea maybe we'll make it anyway uh, uh, keep watching mostly uh, maybe I would do it earlier so because it's Saturday anyway people they are off and they can join us earlier so I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you all and if you want to watch the prayer the call of the Jewish prayer you can go to my account and I post the link there for the Jewish prayer the, the call of the prayer and right away you will notice and you will see how the Jews they copy the prayer sorry how the Muslims they copy the prayer it's called the call of the prayer the Adan from the Jewish you can find it in my my account minds.com slash Christian Prince the link is there you will see the video in the top of the page until I see you tomorrow may the Lord bless you and as always we say Christ is Lord Islam is false and we see you soon again I mean to that. Bye-bye.